welcome back viewers in the last video we had installed the kubuntu kde desktop on the top of linux mint 21.2 so we had used the linux mint 21.2 cinnamon desktop iso and install the virtual machine and then later on using the terminal we install the kubuntu 22.04 lts kde desktop on the top of cinnamon now we will investigate how the desktop works on the Linux main. So this is the gritter screen. So the gritter screen looks exactly like it was there in the Kubuntu desktop. So the Linux mint gritter has gone away and instead it is replaced with a Kubuntu gritter. So this is the KDE gritter of Kubuntu. At the bottom there is virtual keyboard and the session manager. So here Cinnamon session is there, Cinnamon session with rendering and the Plasma X11 session is there. So there is no uh, Plasma Wayland session available. So we will uh, log in into the Plasma Xorg session. Let us do the login. And the splash screen is also from the KDE. So this is the default KDE splash screen for all the KDE desktops. And it is made by the KDE organization. So you have to keep a watch which changes have happened because we are now uh, uh, mixed the two systems Linux Mint as well as the Kubuntu. Okay, so the desktop has come up, and you can see uh, in the background. The desktop, everything is just like what we get in the Kubuntu. So even the wallpaper is from Kubuntu and it has perfectly uh, rearranged itself or scaled itself to the available resolution. So I had no issues. And here you can see the Linux Mint welcome screen has appeared in the Kubuntu desktop. So this is what happens when you mix up two Linux distributions. So what we can do is uh, there are some updates also available so there is mint update available so we will not update the system first first we will check out the applications and all other things the decorations window decoration the wallpapers available all those things and in the end we will try out this linux mint uh, first steps so first let us check out all the applications so this is the standard uh, KDE desktop as available in the Kubuntu. You have got the application launcher, the system settings, the discourse after center is there, Dolphin file manager is there. This is some app, so this icon is missing and you have got this Linux Mint uh, welcome app. On the right side of the panel, you have got notifications area. The Mint update uh, icon is seen. The volume control is there. Network manager is there. And this is the status and notifications area. The calendar is there and the minimize all windows button is there. Now what we will do is we will first check out the application. So the applications are arranged in sections. And in the favorite section, you can see this is the typical favorite apps uh, available in the Kubuntu. So same uh, configuration is there in uh, this desktop also on the Linux Mint. So we can check out the system monitor. Let us check out the memory and all those things. Resource usage. So 1.2 GB of RAM is being used. So this is a little bit higher for the KDE desktop. It should have been around 900 to 1 GB. So because we have mixed up the two, uh, that is the Kubuntu and Linux Mint, this is, uh, this is going to happen. 13.4 GB of the disk space has been used for the installation. And memory, uh, the CPU usage is quite less, below 3% right now. Now in the applications, you can see in the games, uh, typical KDE, KDE games are there. In the graphics, you have got the drawing app, GVN view, ocular is there, PIX, scan, uh, scan light, and the document scanner is there. So these are applications available. Some applications are from the KDE, some applications are from the Linux Mint. For example, Pix is from the Linux Mint, Ocular is from the Ubuntu desktop. Then in the graphics section, uh, yes, we have completed the graphics and games. Now in the internet section, you can see Hexchat is from Linux Mint. 
transmission is also from linux mint so this is the transmission with gtk based uh, technology and the web apps so web apps is also from the linux mint and rest of the other uh, applications for example krdc ktorrent conversion kde connect kde connect sms all these are from the ubuntu desktop in multimedia celluloid hypnotics is from linux mint elisa um, uh, pulse audio volume control rhythm box is also i think available in both and vlc media player it is from ubuntu office section you can see here the complete libre office suite is there ocular is from the kde library that is the ebook uh, reader or the ebook manager it is from the linux mint and this is the kde calendar and these are the typical settings so and you can see synaptic package manager is available so it is from the linux mint so what we will do is we will try to open up the firewall and set set the firewall up so this is the firewall that is the graphical universal firewall from linux mint so the now status is on and it will remain on it will restart every time you boot up the system next let us check let us check the info center so the kde plasma version is 5.24.7 kde framework version is 5.92.0 qt version 5.15.3 kernel version is 5.15.0-76 uh, generic and xop graphics platform is there and this is my system uh, hardware uh, specification so the energy monitor uh, system monitor is of course working uh, energy data is not given and the rest is the detail information that we will not go not necessary right now now the gnome system monitor is also there so let us see how the gnome system monitor will behave and whether it is showing the so here you can see the gnome system monitor is showing around uh, ram usage of 1.3 gb so this is very close to the 1.2 gb of ram usage shown in the kde system uh, monitor so they are almost uh, similar values are there and swap usage, swap usage is zero in both and the cpu usage you can see here it is below three percent here also so both the gnome apps and the kd apps are working normally we can say in this uh, mix up system mix up anything else is there let us see okay so the usb image writer usb stick formatter all this is from the gnome desktop of linux mint time shift is there from the linux mint the muon where is the muon package manager is from the kubuntu software sources is also from the i think uh, linux mint let us see it is from the gnome desktop yes this is linux mint app so completely you can see everything is mixed up and here in the utilities all the utilities you can see here the startup disk creator i think is from the gnome desktop and uh, now you can see kate is there so kate is a advanced text editor onboard is there in the linux mint and i think in ubuntu also onboard is there warp editor is from linux mint notes is from i think kde Spectacle is from KDE, text editor is from KDE. So completely uh, the Atril document viewer is also from the uh, Gnome desktop. Emoji selector I think is from the Gnome desktop. File renamer most probably from the KDE desktop. Fonts uh, I don't know. But you can see everything is mixed up and the help is from the KDE desktop. Now let us come back to uh, okay so first what we will do is we will go to the settings first check out the decorations and uh, themes and all those things so you can see here in the kd system settings the two themes light and dark are available in the appearance section let us check out so you can see total four themes are there so this is pure kd desktop you can see here all this is available in the kd desktop Then in plasma style, you can see this is all available in the K, uh, KDE desktop colors. This is also same as found in the K 
KDE desktop, window decorations you can see. So surrounded uh, windows are not there because this is KDE desktop is using Mutter as the window manager while uh, in the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop the window manager is different. So it is Mutter and here it is Kevin. So Kevin is there in the KDE desktop and Mutter is from the uh, Gnome desktop. So Gnome or Cinnamon desktop. So this is uh, that is uh, the GTK based technology. So you can see here the windows look different here. Title bar buttons. You can see here this is all from the KDE fonts. I think uh, it is uh, Noto Sans. Uh, it is used both. I think in Gnome desktop, Cinnamon also you can use this. So this is neutral. We can say it is desktop neutral. I comes now the big surprise comes. I will just show you. Here you can see the icons. The mint themes icon themes have been applied here to the KDE icons. So the KDE icon sets get the mint theme applied. So here you can see. For example, let us apply the mint T and then we check the so here you will see that mint l theme has been applied so we can open our one file manager now let us apply let us apply that let us see what happens it should turn to green if it is successful in applying so i think it is not working but uh, you can see here the mints let us go with the mint x uh, blue let us go let us see if it is gets applied. Yes, you can see here the ascent colors are changing. Definitely the ascent colors are changing. Let us apply the mint yellow and see what happens. Yes, you can see here the uh, this uh, more actions uh, icon has changed. It is now yellow. Yes, 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 it is now changing. So I think after the restart the completely the icon uh, for this uh, folder icons will also change. So it will require a restart. I cannot show you right now, but it, it is working in cursors. Let us check out. So cursors, you can see the cursors are both from the KD desktop and the Linux Mint also. You can see it here. So the uh, themes and the uh, are getting mixed up here because we have installed the Kubuntu desktop on the uh, top of the Linux uh, Mint 21.2 Cinnamon desktop. So some of the Cinnamon desktop themes are getting applied to the KDE desktop. Now in the splash screen, so there is only two non and the breeze. So breeze is the standard KDE splash screen. It is found in all uh, KDE desktop. It ships uh, default as the splash screen for all the KDE desktops. So we have completed the appearance section. Now anything is there about this system we have checked out. Firewall we have checked out. Okay, so let us check out the driver manager. So let us use the driver manager from the KDE desktop. Let us see what happens. Yes, uh, I think it crashed. Let me check. It crashed or it didn't find any. Yes, I think it has, it has crashed. So there was some error was being shown. So now what we will do is we will just close this down and now we will come back. Oh yes, one thing is pending. Yes, you can see here the icons have changed. So now you can see the icons have changed. So this uh, GTK based icons have been applied here. You can see here the icons have completely changed. So if I do a restart, more icons will change. You can see here the dolphin file manager now is a yellow icon. Here also the icon has changed. Yes. So this is the Linux Mint icon theme that is applied to the KDE desktop. So you can always try to do such experiments. So that gives you very good knowledge of the working of the Linux system. So don't do it for your daily driver. So if you've got a laptop or a workstation that you use daily, don't do it on uh, that system. You can do it on a separate system. The older system, it is lying idle. You can do all such experiments. These are all such experiments are my favorite. I like to do all these experiments. So you can also do it. Now what I will do is let us open the set, uh, settings here and then we will check out the wallpapers. I want to check if the wallpapers work or not. Let's try to configure the desktop and wallpaper. 
let us see what happens yes so now what we will do is let us check out the wallpapers i will minimize everything so wallpapers are there so wallpapers i think it should be a mix of linux mint wallpapers and the kde desktop wallpapers yes my doubt is okay, uh, right you can see here some of the wallpapers are from kde some of the wallpapers are from the linux mint so this is the kde wallpaper you can see here this is the kde wallpaper this gets perfectly applied this is also kde wallpaper then I think we should install some uh, Linux Mint wallpapers. Yes, this is Linux Mint wallpaper. Looks very fantastic. A return, I don't remember. Maybe it is from Linux Mint only. Looks nice. And this is also Linux Mint wallpaper. Very, very nice wallpaper. My favorite. Then this is from the typical. Uh, KDE wallpaper so you get best of the both worlds here in such system this is also nice wallpaper this one is also fantastic so wallpapers are working here and we get a mix of both the wallpapers mint as well as the ubuntu wallpapers so that's it i think everything is working we want we can apply this also yes very nice and finally this one interior design this is also very beautiful wallpaper so that's it so everything is working and you can use this system as such but uh, don't do it for in the uh, this uh, daily driver if you are not an expert in linux don't do it otherwise uh, the system can mess up or you will mess up the system and some data might get lost so you can do it on your old system you can got old tablet uh, lying around you can do such experiments but this is just for the uh, gaining knowledge of the packaging, the configs of the Linux, uh, Linux distributions, different distributions, how they behave, interact with each other. Now, uh, only thing that is pending is we will try out the uh, Linux Mint welcome app and we will try out the different uh, first steps that have to be taken in the Linux Mint. Let us see whether it works in the Kubuntu desktop or not. So. I think the time shift is working. You can create a snapshot. Yes, so snapshot is working. I think so I will close this because otherwise then it the system might hang. So, but it is working. You can see estimation of time uh, system size has started. So we will just keep. Uh, okay, so we are logged out. I think there are some issue. So maybe the time shift is not working, but. Uh, let us see what more things are working which is not working so, okay so the times uh, system snapshots are not working let us try out the driver manager let us see whether it works or not so it is working now let us try out the system updates okay so here you can see all the ubuntu updates so this is the linux mint updates that are available and also there is option to switch to local mirrors we can apply that if you want okay so that has been applied now and let us try to install the updates let us see what happens so that will install the linux kernels so the uh, this dpkg was inter that is the distribution packaging was interrupted so you must manually configure the dp DP, dpkg configure a to correct the problem so i think because the hotspot was done that's why the this uh, dpkg is not working so dpkg is the distribution packaging for the linux mint or the ubuntu or debian based systems so it is not going to work so i think the update manager is not going to work what we can do is we can try to do the mint update let us see okay so it is not going to work is the yes we can try to do the installation from the discover let us see if the discover works so discover will give you the updates directly from the uh, this uh, ubuntu and uh, yes so this is all i think uh, here also you can see the linux headers update has come so you see both 
Linux Mint as well as the Kubuntu desktop is based on Ubuntu. Therefore, the sum of the this uh, updates are similar. So what we can do is let us try. Here you can see the Yaru theme of, uh, icon update has come up. Let us try to do the update. Let us see what happens. I think uh, yes. Yeah, so this there is also issue here. So you can see the technical here also the distribution packaging was interrupted because what happens is when you install a, uh, another uh, desktop from another Linux distribution on top of the other Linux distribution, then those uh, configs for the uh, this uh, package manager are getting uh, damaged. So the, the settings of the configs get uh, damaged, and that's why the updates cannot proceed but i think in the earlier two that is the genome desktop it was update was uh, going on very smoothly there was no issue i think in uh, budget desktop also debian budget desktop also there was no issue only the issue has cro cropped up here when we are trying out the kubuntu desktop on top of linux mint 21.2 otherwise uh, in the last two that is the genome desktop and the budget desktop there was no issue with the updates and the system was usable also after the update so i did some testing on that everything was working so i think we will just close this is not going to work anything else is there okay so now we will check out the software manager so here the driver manager is reporting no drivers are needed yes uh, because it is virtual machine it is not going to detect drivers let the software manager open up so this is the mint mint install or the mint software manager so this is it what is there yes so now it has popped up again so here you can see this typical linux mint uh, software store that's great i will now close this there is nothing to see we, we already know about this so it is all typical software manager if you want we can check out the refresh the list of packages let us see what happens generating cache one moment let us see if the update happens via the software manager or not sometimes the software manager might work let us see so you can also do such experiments uh, it will be a joy and you will learn more about the different linux distributions systems how the system engineering is done so i think uh, there is nothing no update has been reported here otherwise the update show, should be shown here and you can see here the flat up is uh, enabled by default so that linux linux main 21.2 base has the flat up enabled by default and here also in the mix system also the flat up is remaining uh, you can say enabled so if you want we can install the zoom as a flat flat up okay so flat only flat up is working let us try some other applications let us try to open audacity let us see what happens yes so here you can see both the system package as well as the flat pack or a flat flat up uh, option is available so this is typically what we find in the linux mint so that is uh, available here option is available here so that's it i think and anything else is there so documentation of linux mint help and contribute is there so so don't use this for the your day-to-day -day activity you can use the ubuntu uh, genome desktop that was installed on linux mint that system was working very perfectly even the budgie desktop debian budgie desktop i think it is also working perfectly so you can check out those two videos those systems you can use for daily use if you are expert the system will work but this is not going to work don't use it you can experiment like this but don't use it for your day-to-day -day activities on this note, I will now stop the video here. We will start with a new Linux distribution review that is the Garuda Linux from the next video. So be with us and join us for the review of the Garuda Linux from the next video onwards. Bye bye.